Um, I just had a couple of questions about the reporting requirements associated with the bill and also the original law. In 2013, uh, with the initial installation of 20 cameras, um, the, the, the legislation required that a report um, with about 11 points uh, be submitted, 11 questions be answered and submitted to the legislature. Um, has that report uh, been submitted and when? Well, I don't know the exact date that I received it, but um, the uh, report is available. So is this, uh, the, it's 16 pages, it's issued by the New York City DOT? It's titled Automated Speed Enforcement Program Report 2014 to 16? Um, the, uh, this, this report um, is as complete as possible. There were a few items that we had hoped to have responses, but they needed to receive information from state DMV, and apparently there were some points that were not uh, immediately forthcoming, and it delayed the report a little, but then they decided to issue the report, okay. even though those items were not yet available from DMV. During the first um, extension or expansion, which was in 2014, which expanded the cameras from 20 to 140, uh, I had brought up the concerns about the report not being issued yet to the legislature or the public before expanding um, the, le the uh, legislation to add more cameras. Um, this report here does not comply with the law, and it's not just regarding the question about the DMV. That's number, number two. If you go to the original law, page three, line 14, there are 11. Do you have the original law in front of you? Yes. Well, okay. no, I, do, I don't have you. Okay, well, there are 11 the questions. Okay, number th page three. Is that what you said, page yes, three? Yes, page three of the original law. Line 14. Um, number one, the question is locations where and the dates when photo speed violation monitoring systems were used. Um, can you tell me where in this report they answer that question? Yeah, I don't think they give specific uh, location. As required by law, correct? It's a fairly complete, but perhaps not totally complete. Well, they only give, I think, nine locations out of 140, so I would say that's not fairly complete. But moving on to number I believe, two. I, 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 I'm not 100% certain, but I think that the full report actually is due next year. Oh, it's due next year, so we're going to be expanding the program for the third time without seeing any data in well, the Well, not any. That's a bad word in this instance. We see substantial very, data. Very, very little we data. We see substantial for data. For nine cameras out of 140. So number one, in the, which is required by law, is not in the report. Number two, we will give them a pass because it's really related to um, the DMV. Question number three, the aggregate number, type, and severity of crashes, fatalities, injuries, and property damage reported within school speed zones where photo speed violation monitoring systems were used to the extent of the information is maintained by the Department of Vehicle. That's the one we're going to give the pass on. Next question. The number of violations recorded within all school speed zones within the city in the aggregate on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. I don't see that information in this report. Could you please point it out for me? Well, if you didn't see it, then apparently it's not there, and that's a rather specious question. Okay. As required by law, it's not in the report. Okay. So moving on to number five, the number of violations recorded within each school speed zone, each school speed zone, where a photo speed violation monitoring system is used in the aggregate on a daily, weekly, and monthly basis. Could you please point that information out that's required by the law in the report? Ms. Miley Tafis. If you have identified that there are several items that specifically are not in here, um, I'm willing to, spe you know, just assume that you're accurate. Okay. Well, I, I would say I would like. And, to it, and 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 in the interest of time, oh, no, no, no. Uh, I will be happy to uh, simply uh, accept. Okay. Uh, that there are some shortcomings in the report. My concern, having dealt with the 
families who have lost children. Yeah, I would like to proceed um, with, with my time, please, if I could keep going with my questions. The next question is uh, the number of violations recorded within all school speed zones within the city of New York. And then they break it down by violation type based on speeding. So, for instance, 10 to 20 miles per hour over the speed limit, 20 to 30, 30 to 40, 40 to 50, and there on. Um, is any of that information re re reported in the report uh, to comply with the law that we're discussing? Well, let me just say this. All of the data has been collected. This preliminary report does not include all of that, and I will stipulate to that if we can move the discussion on from each item that you allege should be in this preliminary report and yet has not been included. All right. Um, I, I, I will just uh, speak on the bill. Thank you. Yes, I do. Thank you. On the bill? Um, Mr. Speaker, you know, I believe that the idea of installing speed cameras is okay. I'm not opposed to the entire concept. I am opposed to the way the city of New York has handled the issue. We passed this legislation in 2013, allowing for 20 speed cameras as part of a trial period, and one of the requirements in the law was that a report be issued to the legislature. This was supposed to be a pilot program. Less than one year later, the legislature expanded the speed camera program to now add another 122 cameras, and yet we don't have a report. Now what we see is they are looking to expand the camera program once again without having any of the data required by law. And I have to say also, I believe that they have installed language in this legislation that actually excuses them from issuing another report ever again because they changed the word from if the city adopts the program, they have to comply and issue a report every four years, to now changing it to if they expand the program, they need to issue a report every four years, answering the questions that were required in the initial law. So the city is violating the law of the state of New York, and yet this body is gonna go and continue to reward this mayor and this city council that has no regard for the laws of our city and our state by allowing them to continue to expand this program, which many in my district and across the city, and it's debatable. We can debate either side, whether it's a cash grab or whether it's about public safety. But I can tell you this, if it's about public safety, I want to know why the elementary school near my district doesn't have stop signs in front of it, why the intermediate school in my district closest to my house doesn't have stop signs in front of it, why on Staten Island we have to fight to get sidewalks installed in our community? Why we can't get speed bumps and other things that we believe would also achieve the issue of slowing down these vehicles. What I will say is that 2014 revenue from the speed camera program was $2 million. 2015 it was $31 million. And 2016 it has gone up to $59 million. And I believe that is because they installed the cameras and then they lowered the speed limit. If you install these cameras and everyone is supposed to be driving or expected or always drove 35 miles per hour, all of a sudden one day there's a speed camera and you're driving down 35 miles per hour like you always did. Well, guess what? There were signs that were also installed that secretly lowered that speed limit by 25 miles. And guess what? The violation is if you go 10 miles over the speed limit. So therefore, I believe there's a, dec a, a direct correlation here of what we're seeing. But I believe it's unconscionable that this legislative body would carry the mayor's water and expand this program when they are not even complying with the existing law. As, I've, as I pointed out, seven out of 11 questions in the report are going unanswered. And AAA even said that the reporting requirements, number one, should be advised, and they should be made public, and they should be reported annually, not just every four years. So this is the first report that we're seeing which we don't even have the full details. Um, and now I believe in this legislation there is language to conveniently eliminate the requirement of a report by changing the word to if the city expands a demonstration program. 
then they must comply, which means unless they plan on adding more cameras in the future, they will not have to provide a report with the statistics to the people, the legislature, or the governor. So for that very reason, I will be voting against this, and I hope that come January, we can have another discussion. Hopefully, I'll be on the other side of this debate, but about how the city can go forward and be responsible in administering such a program. So it truly is about pedestrian safety. And this is not just about, by the way, speed cameras. Police officers, too, are very important to this, this fight because speed camera can't get a drunk driver off the street. And a speed camera can't get somebody who's heroin on heroin, which is an epidemic in our community, off the street. So this is a whole issue that needs to be addressed, but it needs to do so responsibly and not in a way where the people in my community and the people across the city feel that they're nickeled and dimed constantly by this city.